So that, that's got a lot of sharp nails in it, man. Don't stab yourself. This is how you re-roof a house. First of all, you gotta take out all the bad wood, which we did with this beautiful plywood. And then we gotta rip up all these bad shingles and tear all that stuff off, throw it in the garbage truck. And so what we did was uh, tore up the whole uh, old roof and we threw all the garbage here. And um, of course, we're gonna haul that away. We've got uh, extra wood here. Don't wanna throw that away though. I think I might keep that wood. How many times do you cut yourself? Oh, look at that. That needs to really be covered good, huh? How's that wood there look? That's all good. Just that piece right where you're at. Just this piece here. You gotta recut that out. But do you think that one right there, does that look like it's water damaged too? It gets stained. It's just not mine, it's just water stained. Yeah. So now we can see it better. So that, we got this part here we gotta cut out, right? What about over here, this stuff here? So we got a high truss right there. We need to nail that back down tight. So it's important when you do this re-roof that you tie it in properly with the uh, existing uh, hip roof on this flat roof. And so we got to clear all this out and make sure we've got a good seal all the way down on top here. These guys are getting a good job on it right now. And then we got to redo all the fascia. And we got to pull this piece of it out. Checking for nails, and that tool right there will pop the nail right out and pull the stuff off. So if you want to do roughing, you got to get some of those tools. Looks pretty good, man. This wood looks all good here. This looks a little like weathered there. Do you think that's, that's, uh, is that compromised at all? Oh yeah, it's hard. I just gotta check it. My mom. And this is a little high here, huh? Yeah, they'll re-nail it all. It's gotta all be re-nailed. So tell me a little bit about your process, how you do it. We'll make a video for you guys. Make a YouTube video? Yeah. <laughs> so Just tear it off, pull all the nails out, replace the rotten wood. And then you'll see us putting pill and stick on it. Okay, cool. And we can, I'll videotape it. I'll make you a little video and send it to you. So this is what it looks like underneath of the, uh, what do you think about this one two by four here? He's going to scat to it. Okay, so we'll, on the side of it. so we'll put it inside there. Would that fascia look okay? Yeah. Uh, all right. So this is a scab on. This is a destruction to give uh, uh, tensile strength to the structure. So we're almost to the point where we're going to put the peel and stick and then our tar paper and all that stuff. And we're putting on the extra interior fascia, as you can see, rebuilding it all, making it look good. We'll put a drip leg down after. Here he comes with the nail gun. We're going to start nailing her. There he goes. Hard work. So he's marking it off so he'll know where he's, his stud is so he can nail it. And of course, we got to do a little bit more work on this side. Over here, we're going with the nail gun, getting everything nailed in. Master carpenter. Where the red lines are is where we're putting the nails, and that's where the studs are. How you carry it. Got to go over here. We're gonna put that piece on the. Uh, and this stuff right here is called peel and stick. That's the new stuff, man. Back in the old days, we had, didn't have that. So you lay it out and you measure it off. 
You go halfway with it? You're going to go halfway, then cut it in half. Okay. Because it slows down. Half of it. Oh, he's going down. You got to do half. These guys have zero fear of heights. Right. <laughs> After you do it, then you, you lose it a little bit. You don't, it doesn't bother you as much. But when you first come, when I first come up and I stand at the edge, I'm like, <laughs> I'm yeah, feeling it right I here. It, I get it on two stories. Do you? Yeah, two oh, stories. Shit. And we went on one and three. That's crazy. That's too high. Are we going to be good with this rain right here? Yeah. <laughs> We're still okay? Don't fall off the roof, please. You okay? Too much rain. You start off with just a half, right? And that's your first one? Ah, I see how you do it now. So you get it stuck there and then you pull it from the bottom out. Aha! I'm learning. This one on top of that one there. good. Oh, the rain stopped. That's good. All right, and we got our last piece of wood on. The acacia looks good. Now we're putting on the front edge. So what, you, what they do is they take a half sheet and they roll it on there. Then they're going to roll a full sheet over the top of everything. So you got a double ba a barrier. And if you notice, he pulls the, uh, the covering off and then it just sets there and sticks. So this is a peel and stick process, which is much faster and more efficient than the old way. And then we roll it down all the way. And he's checking it out, making sure it's, it's set right on there. going to pop over. And then he kind of measures it. So it's nice and even on the end, cuts it, bam, done. You probably do a little bit of an overlap just in case so that they, they can always trim it. As you can see, he's smushing it down, getting it nice and stiff. And now we got to roll the other two out. So we stuck the one half and then we pulled back the other side. All right. So it goes to the 18 mark. I don't know what that means. Oh, right there. Oh, I see. So this one has to go to the 18. That's that's what that's how he's rolling it out. And that's how you get half and half and half. Oh, so we go half and half and half all the way. And then this is the interesting part. So you pull one side, and then it sticks, and then you pull the other side. So he's pulling the first side, and then you're going to bend that side over to do the other side. I'm learning, man. I'm going to start working with you guys next week. Except for I require more money. <laughs> and I don't want to do a lot of work. I just want to watch. I would like to be the project manager, please. All right, looking good. I'm learning. Right, so, does it stop raining? Stop here. Put one more and we'll see if the inspector gets here. Does it stop raining? Stop. Yeah, just put one more. Flip it. Yeah, well, four squares of this stuff, so it's almost like two and a half rows. Okay, so you put you put an extra on. Because it goes, it's going to go up. Right? All the way to here. Yeah. And then we put these old shingles back on. Yeah. And it'll he's be a good... Bring, he's bringing new ones, too. Oh, is he? All right. So and that'll be a good are, enough barrier? Yeah, whenever the ones that are damaged, we'll throw them out and then put new ones in. What about, like, the caps on the end here? You do all that, redo yes. that? Yeah. They'll cut them out of two caps. These guys are, are working hard, man. I mean, you you know, there's a lot of people who got a degree and they don't know what the hell they're doing. Right. Like these guys right here, good mechanics, right? Yeah. Where's Jack here? Roll up 
So do we do hot mop anymore? Some. It's trying to get at it. This is better, I think. Well, hot. this could leak. Yeah. Uh -huh. If it's not done correctly. But the hot mop you're gearing, that's a guarantee that you're sealed because it goes in everything. So over here we throw all of our garbage. And as you can see, it's not that much, really. No. You know, so we didn't need a big uh, dumpster or anything. But like those those sheets there, that's cool if I take those. Because yeah. you don't like that. You're just going to throw them away, right? So th this process, and we'll get some drip edge on too. So what is this right here? That's 30 pounds. That's the 30 pound, but that doesn't peel and stick, right? No, that's what's under your fingers. That's, okay, that's the, uh, that's the uh, what they call it, like a tar paper, right? Yeah. And so he's just going to go... Oh, well, that's interesting. What's he doing now? <laughs> oh yeah. And that's the uh, and that's the uh, the tower, right? Okay, cool. So he's gonna slip that underneath. So we gotta get about four or five inches under, and that's gonna give us that barrier that we need on that. Uh, because the water's gonna flow this way, it doesn't flow back up in it. Right. Just in case it, it well, shouldn't pull on here though, should it? No. Well, you on a flat roof, you will have some. It's called bird bass. Oh some shit. Little spots of water, so there's no way to get it perfect. Just gonna pull it up. And we got to get about four inches underneath that shingle make a good barrier. That looks good. So do we do any more of the peel and stick on this area? Several layers. So the valley's critical. We need several layers and we want to make sure that we have a good barrier to any type of moisture. And that's why they uh, they overdo it on this a little bit. And we're cutting it, making it fit good. So this is the roller. It weighs 80 pounds. Luckily, we got Hercules here. He's lifting it. One-handed, 80 pounds, ladies and gentlemen. All right, now we got to roll this thing. Oh, it's got an adjustment on it. You got to tighten that baby down so you can figure it out. So this is 80 pounds. We're crushing it down, getting that peeling stick going. So Jack's got the hard job. The way you should do it, like back and forth like that, this is the expert way. Professionally done. So you got to push the air bubbles out with this thing here on this peeling stick. And as you can see, he's got a specific method to do it. Over here we're going to redo the fascia. Replacing this fascia over here. As you can see, they're doing a great job. And that's going to be all redone. Then we're going to put some drip ledge on it. It's got to be cut and everything. As you can see, they already got this one on. Looking good. Get a better angle here. He's, up, he's going to cut it up there. Then we put it right there. As you can see, they are diligently working. And now we've got an excellent job. we got new fascia over here. And we're putting on... Uh, a new uh, one by two strips and uh, rebuilt this whole thing. Measuring it, put it there, as you can see. There's SK, doing a great job. Excellent workmanship, very well done. Okay, so we're putting on the drip edge here. And that goes over the, uh, I guess, peel and stick, or maybe the peel and stick goes to the edge of it. I don't know, we'll have to figure that out. All right, so we're going to put the drip edge on top of the peel and stick first layer, but then the uh, final one we put it over at the top of the, the, the drip edge. I'm learning. Going over here. Good? Yeah. He's putting on the fascia. He's down there. He's up here. He's just chilling. All right, so there's our little drip edge that we're starting to put on. Just got to finish up the fascia on this side and put it on the, over there. These guys work with solid gold nails and silver nuggets. 
Yes, we do. <laughs> That's why they're so expensive. <laughs> yeah, they're so expensive. So these are galvanized. And hopefully they don't oxidize. <laughs> This is painted with a primer so that when they, you put the final layer on, it adheres to it. And this is the primer right here, right? What is that stuff? It's called creaky dry asphalt primer. <laughs> Whoop. Look, look at the job he's doing here. Not fooling around. Bam. Now, we wait for the inspector to check it all out. He's got to come and make sure we got enough nails. And I think we do. You need me to help you do something? There? Oh shit. That's why it's stuck on there so hard. Will it still be okay? Oh, it just flops right back down. All right, so that one there. Now we got to put one more on top of that at the 18 mark, right? Yep. And then slide it on. And was this go? That goes uh, on top of it, right? So you can see like there's a little bubble, and it just kind of rolls it over. It. Push it down. So this one he's putting like at the 12 mark, but I guess you're going to slide it more but under. It's, it's Hercules, again bringing up the heavy stuff, doing the heavy lifting, Always. doing the hard physical labor. <laughs> Heaviest thing I carry is a camera. <laughs> really, not even a camera, it's a phone. Right. Important to get her tucked underneath there before we flap that baby on top of it. See, we got a little piece back here we got to get. Piece right here. Actually, so at least fall that wrap over it just to make sure we have the coverage. It's starting to get a little wind here. Over here, we're still rolling her, making sure she's nice and tight. Gotta keep it tight. Not afraid of anything, standing right on the edge. How's she looking over here, good? Need a little piece to inside there. important to get all the little spots where you can get water covered. This is the quick dry primer that they use that goes on the drip edge. And if you've got five or six guys, it goes fast. We're going to measure the drip edge and cut that and put it on. Getting it all ready. I'm going to make sure that it's all watertight. That's important. Ten snips, as you can see, they come in handy for cutting this drip edge. He just reverses it to come on the other side. Makes a little crimp, makes a little J cut, and then he does a little bend in there, and now he's got it perfect. Flipping it right in. May have to do a little more. 
A little more trimming. That's okay. Pop that up. Little tricks of the trade. You know them. Makes it a lot easier. All right, so that's how you get a corner on. As you can see, not really too worried about falling. It's gonna do a little bit of a. Get the gun. Shoot me in the foot. And that is how you get it on there properly. And then he's going to come down to this end. He's going to make a cut. You can see he uses the triangle type of a, so that you can get in there and cut it easier. So you do a little bit of an angle cut, and that makes it. And then he just bends it right around, right at the edge. And there he's got his corner. Very well done. Gets it nice and tight. A couple of nails in it, and we're ready to go. Over here, we're putting down our... Now, is this made out of aluminum, or... We've got a, what they would call a galvanized valley that we're going to put right in here. And he's putting a little edge on it, trying to get her down in there. So we're going to cut it at this end. We're going to go along, find it, get her in there. And get down to this end. fast nailing. Could be the world championship of nailing. Oh well. So we've got lots of good gook in there. So this is um this is basically just tar, right? Yeah. It's what do they call it? They call it bull or um Mastic. Mastic? Yeah. Mastic or bowl? Yeah. And this has to be done underneath all these edges, yeah. I would imagine. Yeah. So you get a good seal here, because this is where you could have moisture coming through, right? Any seams and stuff uh, get old. And then you put a, a, sometimes, depending on the spot, you'll put that uh, membrane. Oh, okay. Put that in it. So do they bowl the whole top of this? No, if they uh, galvanize. If they do each side. Oh, each side, yeah, yeah. that's what I figured because you couldn't. Yep, they'll do um, bowl, membrane, and then more bowl. Bowl, and membrane, side. and then more bowl. Yeah. Cool. So as you can see underneath, wherever there's a spot where there's a seam, they're putting the uh, this, this uh, bowl or mastic. Oh, that's why you prime that. Yep, that's to make it all stick. So the reason that you you prime it is so that the so this stuff will stick on. Yeah, so it. Stick, stick, yeah. Okay. Okay. So any place that water can get in, they're gonna put this uh, mastic or bowl on. So they're gonna go over the whole edge of this uh, galvanized uh, valley that they've installed, and over all of the uh, all of the um, uh, nail heads. So that keeps us uh, nice and uh, uh, keeps the water from getting through. Rolling out the cap sheet. Now this has that sticky stuff on the back too, doesn't it? Okay. He's acting as a weight on that side, I would imagine. And then over here, we're trying to get it as tight as possible. 
without falling off the roof. So this is the whole new thing. We before they never had this, or maybe like you know, a hundred years ago when I did it, did a roof. Always good to have a crew of guys who know what they're doing. And at SK Roofing, they will handle all your roofing needs. So give them a call, folks. And then, of course, you also want to roll your uh, cap. What's that called again? Cap sheet. That's the cap sheet, and we're going to roll that too, right? Yep. And it also works with an adhesive. That's very interesting. Yeah. So that's you don't you don't need to mop it, right? Like the old days. Right. Pretty close to the end, but we're going to get some more mass. They've got to be careful. You don't want to step in that stuff and then track it everywhere. These guys are fairly diligent, making sure that they get it done right. And as you can see, they're kind of running it right on that little edge there, that darker edge. So you want to overlap that, I would imagine. Yeah. Is that correct? That, that dark edge is also sticky, so you pull that off, and so that keeps the laps down. So that's going to run right to the edge of that. Yeah. So you don't go over it. Right. Okay. So they're going to, first they're going to roll it out, then they're going to center it, then they're going to tighten it up, and then we're going to um, do the adhesive yep. philosopher. So now he, he pulled both sides off, right? Yep. So there's there's a, a cover on each side, and they're both sticky. Mm -hmm. And so now when he slides that over, that adheres, it adheres to it. And then the bottom of this just adhered to the our undercoat, which yeah. what, what do we call the one that was underneath? Base sheet. Base sheet. Yep. So we got a base sheet, and then the top sheet is? Cap sheet. The cap sheet. So cap would be capping it, base sheet would be underneath your foundation. Yep. And he also does the, the mask here too, right? Yeah. He's making sure that the edge on the valley is covered. Okay, cool. <laughs> so go ahead and say that again. So the cap sheet's a nice light color so that it can reflect the sun's rays so that you can stay a little cooler in the summer. Maybe save some on your electric bill. He's working hard over there, isn't he? <laughs> so he's, he's going to kind of like set it there and then roll it out. Interesting. Got to see how he does this. He's got to get it perfect too, doesn't he? Oh, nice. Good job. And we're gonna roll that. Each, it's gotta be careful not to get it all or munched. But when it bends down, so we're gonna probably have to take, what, about eight inches off one side? Or? Yeah. And he rolls it all the way to the end. And then over here is the little seam that they're gonna pull and that's gonna be the sticky part. And do, they, do you pull both sides at the same time? I guess so, yeah. yeah. All right, I see. So now he's pulling both of the, uh, what would you call those little, that prophylactic that goes over the sticky part? I just call it the peel. The peel. <laughs> so he's going to pull peels on both sides, and that's going to give the two sticky parts the ability to adhere to each other. And here we go. Oh, that's the way, yeah, I see. There we go. Now, does that stuff come off your hands easy? Chemicals. <laughs> Chemicals? Yeah. Uh, with hydrochloric acid, yeah, no problem. <laughs> Again, we got to roll her out. Now, see this line that he's using right here? This is going to be the line that we're going to mark it with. And uh, just like your regular chalk line, we're going to pop it. He's going to lift it up. He's going to let go of it. And it's going to give us a nice, beautiful, straight line that we can cut on. And as you can see, we're using the sharpest exacto line. You gotta be careful, you don't want to walk off the edge of the building. And you don't want to get rolled over with that thing, it's 80 pounds. As you can see, he's being followed by his compadre. All the way to the edge. Bam. Right now we're making another line, and it's going to be where the shingle edge is going to stop. More. Uh, 
as you can see. It's at for completion of the roof. Oh, okay. Not, not of the final. Here is the finished product. Check it out. Brand new flat roof. Well done. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to subscribe to my channel and check out all my other awesome videos. Thanks a lot.